On March 7, 2020, in the village of Bokino, Tambov region, Lisa Chernova disappeared, who at the time was 13 years young. She left to go to a party that was organized in honor to celebrate the International Women's Day, but she didn't return home. Lisa's mother, Tatiana, asked her to return a bit earlier, since she didn't want her daughter to be late. Lisa called her mother when she got to the disco, and when she left, the girl said that she was walking near a local grocery shop and she needed 10 more minutes to get home. Therefore, the mother immediately became worried when the girl didn't return back home on time. Last time, Lisa was caught by the village cameras was at 9.45 p.m. The party was to end at 10. After the girl didn't come home back on time, her parents started to research for her and Tatiana's husband went to look for her along the road she was supposed to go, but there were no traces of Lisa to be seen. The girl didn't pick up her phone. Later the men met some guys who were walking from the disco, and some of them reported that they heard some girls squeal and a rattle of wheels, but didn't pay much attention to this. Lisa's mother started to call all friends and relatives. Tatiana asked them to help in search, approximately 650 people came to help. Other witnesses told the girl's parents that they heard screams and some kind of a strange suspicious car. The guys have different number plates and types of cars. The girl who were still at the club heard some yells. She called for help, Tatiana said. Soon a video appeared on the internet where some girls who knew Lisa are telling that they saw how she left the party and saw how a car was going after her. When she went home, she managed to call her mother and tell her that she was being chased by a silver car. And that's all, then she was kidnapped. But according to the mother, the girl didn't tell her anything like that. Besides that, the girls are sure that Lisa's friend were also followed, and on the night of the murder, people allegedly followed the girl, who could not hear her telling her mother about the pursuer. Already on the 9th of March, a man visited the local police. It was a 34-year-old resident of the city of Katovsk, Alexander Lipatov. According to other sources, the police went to the place where they saw this car, as witnesses reported its number plates. When the police came to his country house in the city of Katovsk, the man was grilling meat with his relatives and drying the washes car seats, as Lisa's mother said. The car itself belongs to the suspect's aunt. It was strange that the man was drying his car seats on the 9th of March, when it's still pretty chilly outside. The law enforcement officials resized the car for examination, which later revealed traces of blood on the seats. The blood belonged to Lisa Chernova. According to the mother, the girl's mother, the accused did not admit his guilt, but he was issued a confession. The defendant turned out to be 35-year-old Alexander Lipatov from the city of Katovsk. During the interrogations, the accused changed his testimony several times. He said that initially he just asked her for the road, how to get to Kadovsk, and didn't see the girl again. Later he said that he crashed into the girl with his car when she was to return home from the party. Later, thinking that the girl died, he got scared and drove the body away and dumped it into the lake near the village of Bokina. There were also witnesses that argued that there were three men in the car and it regularly stopped in that neighborhood. But according to Tatiana Chernova, nobody from the investigation paid attention to this. The surveillance cameras caught scenes where Alexander, after the kidnapping of the girl, is washing his car at a self-service car wash. The local residents started to research for the missing girl almost immediately. They were soon joined by the volunteers from the Lisa Alert search and rescue team. The Ministry of Emergency Situations and the police, in total about 650 people, participated in the researches. After the suspect confessed that he supposedly dumped the body into the river, divers joined the research as well. The bottom of the river Tsna, which the suspect pointed to, divers examined for two straight days in a row, but did not find anything. On the 10th of March, on the river bank, the volunteers found a black bag containing sex toys, a wig, and underwear, but the investigation said that this had nothing to do with the case. According to Tatiana Chernova, when Lisa was still yet not found, the investigative committee gave the order to stop the research for one ground volunteers and leave only divers, because supposedly they disturbed the research. 
But when the woman asked how the on-ground volunteers could disturb the divers, she received no answer. The woman was assured that this was done, so that the body was to be searched only in the water. The people were unsatisfied, and still nobody could answer their questions about why they were turned off. The girl's body was found on the following day in the forest, where the volunteers were headed. It was found on the 11th of March, buried in the forest near the city of Kotovsk, where the suspect lives and approximately 11 kilometers away from the village, where the girl went missing. The examination showed that Lisa was suffocated, the cause of death is stated to be mechanical asphyxia, and before the murder horrible things were done to the girl. The version that the girl was hit by a car is not considered, after the conclusion of the experts, since no traces of an accident were found on the car, and there were no injuries on the body from a collision with the car. On March 11th, the police drove Lipatov to the place where the bag with sex toys was found, because as the suspect stated, he threw out the girl's phone there. After this, the man was driven to the place where he buried the body in Kotovsk. According to the version of the investigation, the accused hit Lisa with an iron tire in the car, but the mother of the dead girl believes that this is impossible, since there is simply not enough space in the car to swing. Later, the investigators mistakenly indicated the street where the crime was committed. When they were asked why they made such a mistake, the investigators replied that they don't live there and weren't sure about the name. They were also not in a hurry to interrogate all the witnesses and relatives of the accused, since Lipatov's brother could also be the one driving the car. Both of the brothers took the car for business trips. The examination stated that there were other traces of blood stains, epithelium and hair of people in the car, which the examination could not establish since there were nothing to compare them with, but the investigators did not suspect that other people were involved in the case. The main detective told the mother of the dead girl that Lipatov had three hours to drive, kill and bury the body of the girl. However, this isn't proven by any witness's testimony. Tatiana is assured that in the dead of the night, when the soil is very cold, it is impossible for a person to dig up a hole one and a half meters deep in one and a half two hours. Especially two weeks before the tragedy, a cast was removed from the man's arm, which he broke, hinting that either he wasn't alone or it wasn't him at all. But also, this pit could be dug in advance if the man was prepared for the crime. Detailed calls from Lipatov's phone were ordered only in the summer three months after the crime. As it appeared to be, on the 8th of March, the suspect, after committing the crime, called his brother, Pavel Starabudov, and after called detective Sergei Korolev. But according to Lisa's mother, nobody from the investigation bothered to interrogate and find out why the suspect called them two hours after the committed crime, and what did they talk about. During the court session, Lipatov said that he owned a large amount of money, 11 million rubles. He was told that if he doesn't give the money back, he would have to work to own up for the money, however to whom the man owed his money remained unknown. Tatiana thinks that Lipatov was forced to kidnap the girl, but he has nothing to do with the other crimes. To prove her words, she brings up an example that the girl's clothes had an excessive amount of blood. But the clothes of the suspect had no blood at all, even though it was proven that he was wearing the exact same clothes at the moment of the crime. The relatives of the dead girl were outraged, how it is possible for him to stay clean when there was so much blood. After multiple questions asked from the woman, the authorities recommended the woman not to intervene in the investigation and mind her own business. After the crime, the woman received calls from several federal channels, but after their suggestions, they changed their minds and stopped calling Tatiana. Many newspapers presented everything as if no one had any questions about the case, and were silent about the fact that Lisa's parents were unhappy with the result of the investigation. The most unusual part is that Lipatov's lawyer himself supported the side of the injured, so that this case would be sent for additional investigation. According to Tatiana, he did this because he knew that the guy really was only involved in the kidnapping. 
During an interview, the woman said that in her opinion, there are more people involved in this crime who have not been punished and in every possible way are trying to close the case thanks to their connections and blame everything only on one person. The girl's mother wants to ensure that the case is sent for additional investigation. She is sure that only public outcry can help this. Links to investigations, interviews and all materials as well as links to videos from where I took the footage I will leave in the description section down below. Every single one of you watching can become familiar with the materials of the case and help out with your watch and comment to achieve a more detailed investigation. Because there are still lots of questions in this case that no one is in a hurry to answer. Some of you might think that it was a bad decision to let the girl go to the party alone at such a late hour and will be correct, but the fact that such a tragedy could happen nobody including the parents could imagine, because this happened for the first time in Bokina. And as I believe right now we have to direct all of our efforts to support the girl's relatives and to publicize this issue. On the 23rd of March 2021, the Tambov Regional Court found Alexander Lipatov, a 36-year-old citizen of Katovsk, guilty of desecrating and murdering Elizaveta Chernova. He was proven guilty by three counts and was sentenced to 24 years in a strict regime colony and was obliged to pay a compensation in the amount of 1 million rubles. But the girl's mother wasn't satisfied with such a sentence, because in her opinion Lipatov couldn't commit on his own, meaning that he had accomplices working with him. But the representatives of the regional TFR argue that they have checked all possible versions and with their versions Lipatov is trying to avoid the punishment.